Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you the power of Burn Lilia in the top lane. If you're up against a physical damage matchup, you can rush down Frozen Heart, so against things like Jace, Bane, Irelia, it's a very solid item option. Ideally, you're playing Lilia versus melee champions, that way you can bully them around with your speed, and you can also use your Q without slowing down, having to stop your movement. So what we wanna do against someone like Mord is go for Leandri's into Demonic, third item, Rylai. It should be a lot of fun. We have D-Ring, plus presence of mind mana flow for the mana. We should pretty much always be full mana. For the rest of our runes, we have Conquer, presence of mind, tenacity, last stand, mana flow, celerity, double AP and armor. You need at least two sources of mana, ideally three. So right now we have the D-Ring mana regen, mana flow, mana, and then mana regen once it's finished, and then presence of mind mana regen whenever we hit enemy champions with an ability. Mana is super important because that's how you derive your mobility on Lilia by using your abilities. Your passive also heals you whenever you hit an enemy champion or monster with an ability, so. Just one of those things. Lilia's level one isn't that good for taking ganks. I'm surprised Vi wants to gank so early. There it is. I don't think, Morn might actually have to flash here. Yeah, he's dead. That's actually crazy, <laughs> level Freaking one Vi gank with just blue buff. You never see that ever. You typically get W level 2 because it's your highest damage ability. It's nearly 300 damage level 1 just for landing it. We should be able to do this. I think. Belveth farms pretty slow, pretty low. She's going to go to Raptors next. I'm going to want to pull it into the bush. If we can get it towards the bush, we're good to go. I'll hit it with a W. I'm healing off of this as well. And we might actually be able to kill Belveth here. Yeah, we should be able to kill Belveth. Got her with the Q. Auto, down she goes. That's nasty. That is so nasty. Vi's level 3, 9 CS. That's disgusting, dude. Holy crap. That's so gross. <laughs> level 3, 9 CS. More is a big level advantage on me now. I gotta stay alive. I want the cannon. We'll step forward for the Q. Your Q outranges your auto attacks by a little bit. So if you can hit something with an auto, you can hit it with a Q tipper. Do keep in mind your Q has a little bit of a startup. It takes about like half a second for it to go off. So you can Q flash somebody, catch them by surprise. Try to get Mord and the minions there. If Mord hits multiple targets with his Q, it does reduce damage. So if he hits me and my minions at the same time, it's not that much damage from his Q. Now all I'm going to do is try to stay alive. He's pushing the wave into me, so I'm not going to bother using a potion. Vi needs to spend her gold, man. Got him with the Q. We'll heal a little bit off that. We also get our mana flow. Once your mana flow is finished is when it gives you a constant regeneration. Go ahead and leave that right there so we know. Try to splash it onto him and the minions, but he's not up far enough. Since you have the ranged autos, it makes Lilia pretty easy to last hit on. If you take Corruption Potion, it's way harder to last hit than with the D-Ring. Plus, the D-Ring scaling is better since it gives constant mana regen. Get him with an E, auto into W. We got him in the middle. Look at that damage output. It's disgusting, man. W's doing 300 damage right now with how much Conqueror I have stacked up. Run this guy down real quick. Got him with the Q-Tipper. We're still at four Prance. I'm pretty low mana is the thing. I am very, very low. If I can hit him with an auto without having to waste mana, I could get my presence of mind pumping again. Vi wants to gank, apparently. Vi's only level three, my gosh. I think Mort still has his flash as well. This is a really random gank. Vi needs to spend. Oh, okay, never mind. She already has spent. I'll go ahead and reset. I'm, I'm like so far ahead of more. There's a thing, and this isn't even a bad matchup for Lilia. Vi doesn't have to keep coming back. Bill, that's kind of hovering mid. First item back. Typically, you can look for at least tier one boots. I'll go ahead and pick that up here. I'm going to be pushed a lot, so I'll pick up control word as well. Tier ones go a long way. 
playing around Lily's mobility, similar to a Hecarim, you don't have to stand still to use your Q, which is one of your most consistent forms of damage. Even if your W is actually your biggest source of damage, it's by no means your most consistent, because if they're not standing still or if they're not slowed or slept, landing the center is kind of hard. Usually the center will miss, which is three times as much damage as the edges of it. Go ahead and push this real quick. I think, is my wave pushing? I can't tell. The cannon's putting in work. If my wave slow kills the cannon, this will actually push towards me and he'll miss a bunch of golden XP. It's just really hard to tell with how it's up. Oh my gosh, I just messed two minions. Yeah, the cannon stayed alive forever. My minions weren't really focusing it. So this is actually going to come to me. I'm level six. He's level six. He's going to miss that minion. I'll just push into me a little bit more. Don't want to miss too many creeps though. Go and snipe that out. I'm gonna hit him with an E here. Got it. Into the Q. He's slowed. We're going for the W. We hit him with the middle. I thought he was gonna chase to get his passive full proc there. I don't want to blast the wave right now. Because I don't want to like push it crazy hard. I'd rather keep it in a state to where I'm not very gankable. Going for the E. When he goes in for this last hit, we hit him with QW. Go ahead and sleep him here. Hit him with Q. I tried to do it right as his shield was ending, but couldn't really find it. Auto attack Q. Auto attack E. Auto attack. Into the Q. Down he goes. Very hard for Mord to take that fight there. We're just too fast. We both have tier 1 boots as well, so... It's not like he had boots and I didn't, so he could, could kind of keep up even through my prance. But I mean, we're at Fort Prance, man. Lily's a very frustrating champ to play against. The only matchups where she's going to consistently struggle early game is against range champs like Vayne, Jace. Those are the main ones. Big auto attack damage with more range than your Q, where they can constantly trade back. Against Jace, you can at least rush Frozen Heart and get by. But uh, Vayne's a little more tricky. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right, though. Vi's starting to fall behind. Miss the smite. That's kind of annoying. Got her with our E. She nearly killed me. She ran me down. She's going to completely push me off my uh, turret, apparently. I think she's actually going to stop my back here. We get her with my Q. She gets a shutdown and gets out. That's insane. I thought I was baiting it for my teammates, but apparently I was just baiting myself here. I guess that's not horrible. Someone needs to grab that wave, though. Yeah, I can see Belveth being a huge freaking issue. I'm tempted to go for Swifties here, but... Uh, Lucids are probably best because they're just so inexpensive. Yeah, that was wild, man. She actually ran me down into this area while I wasn't really paying attention. I think she used her flash. She got my flash, and then since she had gotten the Vi for her passive, she was able to follow over the wall with her own dashes. Kind of wild. Still level up on the Mord. Still have a bit more CS. I'm a little nervous about Belveth coming back, though. Yeah, there's a fresh ward there. Got that pushed. Got two prance up. Nice. Get some of our damage on him here. We got to weave in and out of the turret shots. Kind of find the sweet spot there. Almost got him with that. If I'm at four prance and tier twos, Belveth can't keep up. It really sucks I let her kill me, though. I didn't think she was going to be able to land her stun like that. It's a good lesson, though. If you don't have Prance built up on Lily, it's super easy to die. You're just not fast at all. Like here, I don't actually have Prance built up, so I'm going to step back a little bit. Nice, got him and the minion. I don't mind just keeping him underneath this turret, because I'm getting plates and stuff anyways. 
I'm totally okay with playing like this at this point. Get him with a Q, right as the turret shot pinches off so can't really hit me. He uses EQ, otherwise he's going to miss all of them because his Q is, won't do quite enough. I'm trying to scout for the Belveth, couldn't really find it. Looks like she just took Harold and back, most likely. Mord's going to stay, I see Belveth mid. Can kind of push him off the minions a little bit. Got him with the E. Get him with the W into Q, ignite. Weave in some auto attacks. Another Q, down he goes. Beautiful. Once you have them slept, you usually want to EW because your E has a travel time. So if you EW like this, you can usually hit him about at the same time. So you wake him up, do maximum damage, and your E and W are your hardest skills to land. Got it pushed. Belveth is bot side, so we're clean to take this. He might have TP though. Not sure. Ward's in a real tricky spot because he's down CS and also have gold advantage on him. That early Vi gank put him in a tricky spot. Lilia doesn't typically get kills pre six. She normally kills her laners at six unless they're just being super greedy. I should get the assist for that because I was hitting it. Nice, I got it. Very good. Go ahead and pick up Leandre's now. Insane amount of extra damage. The more bonus HP they have, so HP they've actually built or they're getting through abilities, the more damage it does. So if they have a bonus 1250 HP, which isn't a lot, that's not a crazy amount. Leandre's will be doing 12% extra bonus damage. Deal up to 12% bonus magic damage to champions based on the target. So yeah, so if you let's say you do 2000 damage to them, you're doing 12% extra on top of that. Plus you do about... How much burn is that? Let me read that real quick. Burn for 12.5 plus 1.5% plus 1%. So yeah, it's doing nearly 3% of their max health per second per four. It's a lot of max health burn. More than demonic for sure. Plus we get the mana, which we definitely need for infinite spam. This is here for some reason. Hey, we get more. We, kept, we keep the prance up. That's perfect. He's got the burn on him. You need to pay attention to when they're still burning because you can't walk underneath the turret unless you want to take a turret shot. He's baiting me. I mean, if he wants the control word, he can have it is the thing. It definitely wasn't worth it for him. I'll tell you that. He's just going to die for it keep my prance up off this nice why gets the kill they're all kind of just circling in on this area I'm on four prance go ahead and just run back here I can waste their time I'm so fast dude oh it actually stunned me out get it with our W that's a double R double Q get them both with an EQ Got Ignite on her head. She misses stun. I'll Q flash. Down she goes. Very nice. Messy, but nice. Landing the double R is good enough. Vi dying gave back Belveth a chunk of HP from her triumph and also from going inside with R. A little surprised that Leona R hit me. I wasn't too worried because Belveth had already missed her knockup. It's kind of wild it landed. Auto attack W, auto attack Q. My Conqueror is stacked up. He's still got my burn on him here. Got him with that. Nice try, buddy. Auto attack Q. I'm moving so fast, they just cannot keep up. Get her with another Q. She's dead off that. She's literally gone her. Now full Prance. Yeah, what are, you, what are you gonna do, buddy? Got it. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, alright. That was some crazy damage. She's got more items than I do. You know what they say. 
How? <laughs> Belveth, two levels down. We'll have more items than you. Because it's all shut down is a lie. It's freaking crazy, dude. You go demonic from here, probably into Rylai's. Or frozen to deal with Belveth. It's a tough call. I think Rylai's is better, though, overall for what we're trying to do. As long as my team plays for Draxel, I think we're good to go. Mord's backing off. That's perfect for me. He should just assume they lose Dragon here, and he should have stayed unless he's worried about me getting there. Based on my respawn, I was super far away. Heim Flash. He stays alive. That's good. You don't want to give Belveth her uh, Rift Coral, which she has right now, off something. Oh, no. That was good. She at least got away from the Belveth a little bit. That's a Q and the R. We're going to run her down into a W centered. Mixing some autos on this guy. Yeah, nice try by them. Once my R connects, it's over. Auto attack into W. Get him with my Q. He shouldn't even bother using his R on me. He's taking so much damage. Get him with the W ignite. I couldn't land my W because he flashed, but I did get the ignite down. Oh, my E connected as well. Let me heal off Belveth camps real quick. It's only MF, right? Oh, everything's down. That sucks. I couldn't speed up off Raptors or Red. It's all missing. I have to leave, though. Belveth's kind of crazy. Her damage output with Bork, Kraken is ridiculous. Just a couple of autos and I'm goner. 100%. All right, I'm out of here. Can get a big chunk of Rylai's. We're probably going to play for Harold next. Yeah, we can get Giant's Belt here. I'll sell this and pick up. This Amp Tome is better than a Control Word at this point. I don't want to wait in base for 50 gold. We can push out and take a lot. The WAP scaling, if you land center, is over 100%, which is one of the, which is one of the highest scalings in the game for AP. The Q is 45-45, which is really good considering it's true damage if you hit Tipper. And the E60, R is 40. Passive is just weird because it's percent based damage. I think he just windwalled my little thing. He windwalled my R, that's disgusting. Not quite sure why that's a thing, but it is. Your R has, <laughs> I guess, a travel time. Interesting. Weird fight going on mid. Belveth went in and died pretty much instant, pretty much instantly, which makes sense because she went full squishy. If she doesn't have a rift coral, then she's not very strong. She misses out on movement speed, attack range, like health, attack speed. She can't jump over walls and stuff. Grab that and push top. Lily is a great split pusher. Not a whole lot of champions can deal with her, especially if she's ahead. Due to her speed. Throw down an E. I don't want to lose all my Prance. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. I could lay it here, I guess. I just lost all my Prance. That sucks. Bell that's dead though, so I'm fine. Could group mid at this point. There's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of off to the side. I don't want to lay Harold because no one's contesting me. I'm not gonna be able to get both turrets, I don't think, even with Harold. Well, actually maybe. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Someone on my team just DC'd. And that's a turret. That's not a bad herald. If you get an inhib turret like that, it's actually really good. Get him with a W, Q, Ignite. He should die unless he has his shield. I think he already burned it though. They're going to come for me here in a second. Down you go. I'm 
I'm gonna just hit her with a Q. We're chilling. She's really fast, but my burn's gonna kill her. I got their R. I think I got Belveth Flash as well. Yes, chill on that. Also, he's healing me up. He's also getting <laughs> ravaged by my passive. It's nearly 9% max health damage, plus the Leandres is doing quite a lot. He got the still, that's annoying. What a little troll. What a little troll. I'm not healing up that much right now. Just trying to push some waves, secure dragon and whatnot. That's the third drag. All we gotta do is play for soul now. I think Rylize is the way to go. Zonis wouldn't be bad either. Probably Rylize into Robidon here is what I'm thinking. You could certainly go for Force of Nature if you needed it or Dead Man's Movement Speed goes a long ways on her. A lot of their damage is skill shots like MFR, Leona E, Leona R, Belveth Knockup, Yasuo Knockup, Mord skill shots. So as long as we have the Prance. AD carry reconnected. That's good. Probably win without as long as we get Draxel. Yeah, build this over here. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I can't move. Ah, that sucks. I think I got flashed on or something. They hard CC'd me down. I gave away a thousand gold to Belveth too. That's really bad. I had the pinch on Belveth, but it turns out they had the pinch on me. Kaisa goes in, but Belveth is chewing people up. Not a great fight. They got ult <laughs> they got way too much gold out of that. Should we sell D-Ring for a needlessly large raw? The answer is yes, we should. If Leona can get her hands on me, I can't move. So Leona Q into Leona Snare into Leona R. Zero counterplay if she lands the Q, which is not a skill shot. After those three CC ends, I get knocked up by Belveth into Yasuo R. CC'd for nearly three seconds. My goodness. Long time to not be able to move. Bowling ball the wave. Yeah, he didn't stay with it. Not that surprising. Kaisa's is actually really fed. Everyone on our team, including myself, is throwing their advantage though slowly but surely. Might even go for a Spirit Vistage this game, potentially. Psych. If they had more AP, I would. Vistage is good on Lily because they were passive healing. You only usually do that, though, if they're super magic damage heavy. Otherwise, you go uh, for just really anything else. I got all my Prance up. Let's see what there is to see. Some weird fight going on over there. Belveth died at least. That's their most important player at the moment. She sets up all of the Yasuo combo. You can't dodge my Q, buddy. He's trying to get behind his wind wall so I can't hit him. Hey, friends. Got him with the W. Ooh, I needed to get my Ignite on him. Yasuo isn't going to quite die there because I didn't get Ignite. He barely lived. The Ignite would have 100% finished him off. I don't mind Vi taking this. We could certainly take Baron off that. I'll prance on over. Get over here real quick. Moving nearly 600 movement speed almost. Cool. That was neat. I don't know why they even allow that. The Plast Cone should never be able to just spit you straight up. Oh man, feels bad. She's going for this is what she's doing. Got it. Uh, she actually turned around to do that. That's kind of surprising. That should be a double R. Oh, I got a flash. 
Got the Belveth at least. I don't know if it's worth though. Maybe actually. She's more fed than Vi. It's kind of unfortunate to see your teammate die. Time to reset. Sitting on a Robodon. I'll grab some more move <laughs> some more movement speed as well. Winged Moon play is super, super good on Lilia. Faster you are, the tankier you are. They're gonna miss more skill shots. They're gonna end up getting autos canceled because if the majority of the auto, it's, it's something like that. So it's somewhere around if 51% of the auto attack hasn't finished yet and they break auto attack range, it just won't finish and it gets canceled. So you're basically forcing them to stand still. So the faster you are, you get to avoid more damage by dodging. You also get to cancel more autos just by moving out of their range fast enough. I need some prance, baby. Can I get off a free hit? No, I cannot. Dragon is a goner, though. Leon is trying to force this super hard. That's a double R for me. Hey, MF. Goodbye, MF. I'm going to go run down Yasuo now. <laughs> if I can. He's moving pretty quick himself. He's going to win. try to win wall my E, so I got to walk him down with a Q. There it is. Down he goes. Lily atop, baby. Disgusting. Into the right matchups. Ideally, only player against melees, and ideally, immobile melees that are skill shot reliant, such as Alawi with her Soul Pole or Mord with his skill shots. She can do okay into Aatrox. That one is. I don't want to say scary, but it, it can be kind of coin flippy. Because he can basically never land skill shots on you, but at the same time, he has so much damage that. Uh, can be a little tricky to play and that should be it I'm having trouble leaving their base here is anyone else autoing the fountain or the nexus here and that is ggs we'll take a look at damage dealt damage taken and runes let's see it looking at damage dealt damage champions we had the most in the game by a decent amount by nearly double for damage taken. Most on our team, not the most in the game. self mitigated not the most in the game. Very middle of the pack. For runes, ultra high value. You really do need presence of mind and mana flow. Plus the Dorn's Ring. Especially early on. That's the only way you won't be constantly running out of mana. Corruption Potion isn't really worth it on Lilia. So you could say, oh, six times Lilia burned. Because the Corruption and the Scorch. But honestly, Scorch Corruption suck. They're fun, but they're, they're trash. The Dorn Ring is just a little over over tune right now anyways if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe pick lily against melees and i'll catch you guys next time